Alrighty, we're out here on part of the Superior Hiking Trail. Gonna do a one night overnight camp at uh, good old Bean and Bear Lakes. Full trip's about seven miles round. Um, I'll probably, I don't know, I think I get about halfway there and then uh, I end up, we'll end up camping by the lake somewhere. Probably stealth camping. Uh, it's a little bit sketch. It's hunting season here. Deer season open today. So I got these little blue ribbons on the side of my pack. My pack's also blaze orange. So I'm not super, super worried about it. But uh, always something to look out for. Got my full pack got seven days of food in it way overkill but I'm going for the just a short shakedown all right we're maybe about a mile in just come to this nice little gap here though get this great overview of all these birch trees that's one thing I love about northern Minnesota is all the you get a really deep contrast of the pines and the birch it's about 4.30, 4.15, something like that. Feeling good. Feeling good. Got a little uphill climbing to do. Did a lot of uphill climbing. Believe it or not, it was super muddy down there. Got my shoes really muddy. Even though we haven't had a good solid rain in over a week, and it's fall and things are dry, it's still wet the nail. We're at the top. I just like to laugh a little bit. I picked the tiniest, dinkiest little branch to put the blaze on. But of all of them, the smallest. That's the guy in the deer stand over here. We made it. Beautiful overlook. A little, I don't know if you'll be able to see that with the sun, but water tower, telephone pole thing, that's where we started, just uh, down the back side of that hill. And we got Silver Bay and the quick mining plant. Oh, that's my head. And then uh, that's where the steam's coming from there. And then good old Superior. There's a guy actually back there behind this pine tree in Blaze. So I'm gonna try and be quiet. Not spook any deer from on this beautiful opener. Right here. Lower Twin Lakes Trail. Spur Trail. Spur Trail. Bean Lake, one mile. I'm here. Lower Twin Lakes Trail, where's that? What's this? Don't want to go that way. That way's two town. I also just remembered I may or may not have forgotten a lighter, so we may be cold cooking tonight. Here at the Penn Creek. Gonna refuel on some water. I don't know if you can see that. About 50% full. That. What are we at? We are at Penn Creek Campground in about 500 feet. Figured I'd stop at this one instead of the latter one. 
because I'm running low on daylight here. It's going to get dark pretty quick. And uh, got an, I know this one's got a water source. They don't all have water sources. So I figured, what the hell, might as well stop here. All right, we are in the campground. It literally looks like the creek runs just straight through it here. And there's a super cool little slot. I call it slot canyon. Super cool. It's gonna pull off. Wow, this is amazing. See in there, that's super cool. Look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the most important sign of all, the latrine. It's up the hill there somewhere. I don't see it, but I'm assuming it's not far. Alrighty. I got a tent site. So I got tent set up back there. Got my gear out here. And like any good hiker, always come prepared. I uh, forgot my lighter. So it looks like no stove tonight. Looks like we will be having a cold dinner of mashed potatoes, packaged salmon, and uh, peanut butter crackers. So, uh, Basically just add some water, let these bad boys soak for a little bit, and uh, chow down. Finish my boom here. A little spuds. Uh, I decided to crawl in, it was getting a little cold out there. And uh, so I decided to crawl in the shelter. There was nothing too exciting. No fire, because I forgot my lighter again. Um, and now I'll uh, figure I'll show you around the inside here. REI Quarter Dome 2. Um, it's nice, big enough, got my pack and all its gear in here. It's got dual vestibules, one on each side. Femores is Z seat out there. It's nice to stand on when you have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night or in the morning. Um, I'm in the Nemo Salsa 30 spoon style sleeping bag. Uh, I had originally the uh, Alrighty, so my uh, GoPro battery died there, that's why uh, lights went out, but um, so I was saying Nemo, let's see what's the bag that, it's on one of these sides here, there it is, Nemo Salsa 30, uh, it's a spoon style bag, which gives, a, it's good for side sleepers, which I am, uh, and then the Thermalite, or not the Thermalite, the uh, Thermarest ZC, or the Z-Pad, um, and then on the inside of the bag here, I have also got the Thermocore reactor, Thermocore or Thermolite reactor, uh, Sea to Summit liner. It's supposed to add up to, uh, well, I think it was up to like 12 degrees or something like that. Um, I usually mainly, I, blah, blah, blah. I mainly usually have it in here uh, just to keep the sleeping bag clean. Morning here, my camp. Um, Good night's sleep. It was nice and toasty. I'm in my sleeping bag. And we're uh, off to go do the most important thing of the day. Find this guy. There she is. Almost back to the parking lot now. Didn't video too much on the way back just because it was most of the same stuff. So I figured wouldn't be too interesting. You guys probably don't want to watch a 20 minute video. So, just nearing Silver Bay, you can see down there. And, uh, yeah. Made it back to the parking lot. Good shakedown. Seven miles round trip. Not too bad. Everything worked as planned, except for the fact I forgot a lighter. But, uh, minor details. So, here's the whip. I don't know why I called it a whip. Here's the car. And, uh, signing off. Until next time.